Understanding Grade 3 Placenta, Symptoms and Risks. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to discuss an important topic related to pregnancy, the Grade 3 Placenta. This grading refers to the maturity level of the placenta, an essential organ in pregnancy that supplies oxygen and nutrients to your growing baby. Grade 3 placenta is typically seen late in the third trimester, but if diagnosed earlier, it can carry certain risks and symptoms. Let's delve deeper into this topic. What is grade 3 placenta? The placenta goes through different stages or grades of maturity as your pregnancy progresses. Grade 3 placenta is often considered a sign of an aged or mature placenta. It's usually seen around the 37th week of pregnancy or later. However, if it's diagnosed before the 36th week, it's considered premature and could indicate potential complications. What symptoms or signs should I look out for? Typically, the grading of the placenta is determined through an ultrasound, and it doesn't cause noticeable physical symptoms. However, if you're experiencing decreased fetal movements or your baby isn't growing at the expected rate, it may suggest placental insufficiency, which can be associated with a prematurely aged placenta. Any changes in your baby's movement or growth should prompt immediate medical attention. What are the risks associated with grade 3 placenta? When a grade 3 placenta is detected earlier in pregnancy, it might lead to several complications. One. Placental insufficiency. The mature placenta might not deliver enough oxygen or nutrients to the fetus, impacting fetal growth and development. 2. Intrauterine growth restriction, IUGR. This condition means your baby isn't growing at the normal rate inside the womb, which could lead to various health problems for the baby. 3. Preterm birth. The early aging of the placenta might result in a higher risk of preterm birth. 4. Stillbirth. In severe cases, a grade 3 placenta may increase the risk of stillbirth. What should I do if I have a grade 3 placenta? If you've been diagnosed with a grade 3 placenta before the 36th week of pregnancy, your healthcare provider will likely recommend more frequent monitoring of your baby's growth and well-being. This could include more frequent ultrasounds, non-stress tests, or biophysical profiles. Always maintain open communication with your healthcare provider and report any concerns promptly. We hope this information has helped you better understand the symptoms and risks associated with a grade 3 placenta. Remember, while there can be risks, your healthcare provider is there to monitor and manage any potential complications to ensure the best possible outcome for you and your baby. Always keep your healthcare provider informed about any changes or concerns. Here's to a healthy and safe pregnancy.